Hi boys and girls, so today for my video I will be making some symmetrical pictures. So a symmetrical picture is something we did do in nursery but I don't know if you remember because it is quite a long word and it was a wee while ago. So symmetrical pictures are pictures that look the same on each side. So I have got some red paint and a paintbrush, blue paint and some yellow paint. Oh, might have mixed two colours slightly. Um, so yeah, so I've got the three primary colours, red, yellow and blue. And these three colours help us make different colours each. So if you can remember, I'm going to test them out. We're going to mix yellow and blue together. We're going to mix red and yellow together. And we're also going to mix blue and white together and see what we get through this picture. So first of all, it is always a good idea to ask your adult for some paper so you're not using anything that's important. So I've only got white paper because that's all I've got in the house. But if you have coloured paper, it also works in coloured paper. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move the camera slightly down so you can see what I'm doing. So we're going to use this paper and we're going to fold it in half. So we're going to take this side and we're going to fold it right over until it touches the other side. And then press down the middle. So look, minute. two corners are touching two corners. Press it in the middle and fold it down. Okay. And then open it up again. So for my first picture, I think I'm going to do some spots. And I'm going to mix some colours when I do my spots. So I'm going to use the three colours that I've got. Actually, I might make that better for you to see. So I'm going to use the yellow. I'll do a big circle here. And then I'm going to use red. Do that one here. And then blue. And then I'm also going to do spots that mix colours. So I'm going to do more yellow here, but I'm going to slightly put some blue into it and see what I get. And that makes green. And we'll do another red spot here. And we'll mix more blue with the red this time. And this one turns into purple. And then let's try another red spot. And we'll make one more colour to mix it with. Do this one here. There we go. That's a bit much. As you can see, Mandy has already messed up her paper, as usual. And do some more yellow with it. And that turns in to a lovely orange colour. So all my spots are on this side of the paper, which is my right, but your left hand if you're looking at the camera that way. And then we're going to take this side and we're going to fold it right over. And because you've already folded it slightly, it should be easier for you to do. And then we'll give it a wee press down. And then when you open it back up again, it should have spots on both sides of the paper that look the same or in the same position. So this is my first symmetrical picture with all my different coloured spots that I've managed to mix and make with all the three colours that I've got. So I'll put that to the side and I'll show you how to make a butterfly because this was one of the favourites in the class when we did it in nursery. So again, fold your piece of paper first so it's a bit easier for you to use. And then put it back up again. So I'm going to try and do this upside down so you guys can see it properly. So first of all we need a body, so I'm going to do a yellow body for my butterfly and I'm going to stick it right in the middle of the paper and as you can see Mandy's not cleaned her brush so it's coming out orange instead of yellow. So it would be a good idea if you had maybe a little pot of water to use in the middle of cleaning your brushes so you don't mix all the paint up. So I'm also going to do a wee antenna for my butterfly. I'm going to use my red mixed, okay? And this is going to be for my wings. 
So I'm going to do that's a curve, a bigger curve. Remember only on one side because then when you fold it, it transfers all the paint onto the other. And then I'm going to do some spots. So I've got one, two, three, four spots. Okay. So that's me finished one side. And then I'm going to fold it in half. And then I can give it a little rub. Just transferring the paint onto the other side. And then when you open it back up again, you should have your beautiful butterfly. So you can do any type of pattern you want for a butterfly. I only did spots because it was a wee bit easier for me to do on the camera upside down. But as I said, you can do whatever you like. So you can do lots of things on symmetrical pictures. You could make a face, you could do some shapes over here and we've got one piece of paper left so maybe I'll show you how to do some shapes and see if we can remember what our shapes are so again fold it in half and then when you open it up you only paint on one side of the paper so you can do it on this side if you want or you can do it on the other but as long as it's only on one side and you, when you fold it again it will work fine so I'm going to do a red square four sides that are the same and this square looks anything like it. I'm going to do a blue circle and a yellow triangle. So these are my shapes on one side and I'm going to maybe use some glitter glue just for the fun of that that I have sitting here. But if you don't have it, you don't have it, you don't need to use it. Just make a little pattern. So I'm going to squeeze it out. Right, so that's what I'll do on the flower wreath. So because I'm doing it on one side, then it should come out the same type of pattern on the other side when I fold it over. So I'll stop there and I'll maybe I'll do a little circle here. Very hard to squeeze. Yeah. So that is my picture done. So I'm going to remember fold it in half. And if you need help to find it and make it a half, then you can ask your adult to help you. Okay. And then once I open it up again. My glitter and my paint have moved to each side. So there you go. So that is how to make your own symmetrical picture. Let me back up again. So I hope you enjoy boys and girls and see you next time.